It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and Alpina does their thing with an M5 again. The Tesla Model X is ready for you to buy it and its packages. I'll tell you what they are. Oh, and speaking of X, Resvani adds an X to the Beast. The Beast X, Erica. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Kay, are you in the shop? That'd be hilarious. Plus, if you want more range from your BMW i3, well, they're going to give it to you. And we'll show our thanks to all the FLD fans with a little Friends Day Wednesday action. Isn't that right, AK? Yes, Mr. D. Because it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, it, it, we're, we're going to have a Friendsgiving. Right. That's what we're going to do. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily. It's the hump day right before Thanksgiving. Let's get over it. A quick heads up, we are off tomorrow and Friday for the holiday, it's Thanksgiving, but we'll give you a little extra, you know, a little FLD extra cut for Friday. Just something real quick to hold you over until Monday. Yeah, we don't have to do it, but we'll, 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 we do it, because we just like you guys, okay? So, uh, oh, Derek, you guys should still come in. Blah. Yeah. Wait, what was that? What? The BMW M5's 560 horsepower isn't enough for you? Tell him, Christian Bale. Oh, good for you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, good for you. Bale's a big fan of FLD. Oh, yeah. Not, did you know that, AK? I, I, so it's Keanu Reeves, apparently. Yes, yes, yeah. apparently. Anyway, that horsepower is good enough for me. But if you want to be greedy, then Alpina has something interesting for you. The tuning company has introduced its B5, which is basically a tuned version of the M5 that makes 600 horsepower. Yeah, you get 40 more. That allows a zero to that allows zero to cheat on 60 with 62 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. Top speed is one hell of a jump, though. Increased from 155 miles per hour to 204. Quite the uh, difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Significant indeed. Of course, Alpina adds a nice body kit, upgraded the suspension, added some sporty interior touches. Of course, you know that's what they do. That's what Alpina does to BMWs. Hey, Christian, what do you say to someone who just bought this Alpina BMW? Oh, good for you. And how was it? My thoughts exactly. How was it? I guess it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, for the people who drove it. You've heard of the company Resvani. We've talked about them before, uh, particularly the Resvani Beast. And they believe that when you hear the word beast, you need to think of them. The Resvani Beast currently makes 500 horsepower and weighs just 1,650 pounds, and it is a looker. Well, after a couple of upgrades, they have now fed the Beast an extra 200 horsepower. So for you math wizards, that means it now makes 700 horsepower from its 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine, thanks to a pair of Borg Wagner turbochargers. That's a four-cylinder boss. Boss. Yeah. It has a six-speed manual for self-changing gear fun. It's now called the Beast X. And brings, and Zero brings the stuffing to 60's, to 60's Thanksgiving dinner in just 2.5 seconds, Erica. That's awesome. Yeah, stuffed. <laughs> you want one for Christmas, AK? Yeah. That's no big deal. Yeah, no just a cool. It's just a cool 325 grand. I mean, tch, trick, chicken scratch. I'm using my Christmas bonus to buy it. Yeah, it's chicken scratch. Or should I say, Turkey scratch. <laughs> 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 and we're having fun here. The electric SUV, the Tesla Model X, is now on sale to the general public and prices start at $80,000 before any incentives like the $7,000 500 federal tax credit. Model X buyers can choose from three versions of the D. Either way, you're going to get that D. A 70D, a 90D, or a P90D. What? Erica's shaking her head, I don't know why, unless your mind's in the gutter. The standard interior configuration offers five seats, but six and seven seat options are available. If you want six seats, that'll be $3,000 extra. If you desire seven, prepare to shell out four grand extra. Tesla's trick autopilot function, well, that's going to cost you $2,500 extra. And the air suspension can be added to the 70D for $2,500 extra. Other add-ons include the $4,500 premium package, $2,500 premium sound package. Wait, what sound system in a car costs $2,500? Bucks? 
Like, unless you're like doing like something really like custom. Mm -hmm. 2,500 bucks. Not even bows or that. Come on, man. Come on, Aqua Musk. This guy, he must be rolling around in a tub full of money. I knew it. He is. He says it right there. Anyway, you could also get the Sub-Zero Weather Package. That's an extra $1,000 and uh, 750 bucks for the towing pack. Wow, so you can really update your D package with many uh, packages. Right, Erica? Torque. BMW's i3 got a new lithium ion battery. How far do you think it could travel on a single charge? Any guesses, AK? I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna try. Erica, don't look. You're on, you cheater. What do you think? 124 miles. Oh, wow. So crazy that that's exactly the amount. 124 miles on a single charge. BMW is set to extend the range of its electric powered i3 with the introduction of what is being described as an optimized drive line, which draws on battery efficiency gains developed since its launch in 2013. Do you even make gains, bro? That's what it's saying. Uh, the movie, the movie, the move is claimed to extend its range to well over 124 miles in real world use compared to just under 100 miles right now on that i3. So it's a solid upgrade and there you go. AK, we're gonna hang out with some FD fans because Friends Day Wednesday. Oh, it is Friends Day Wednesday. Actually, I think like I said before, we're gonna call it Friendsgiving today. <laughs> oh, even better. It's uh, Thanksgiving, yeah, but it's Friends okay. Day Wednesday. It's Friendsgiving. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give to the friends. Yeah, First okay. up, Zephyr fan, Juan Diego Moreno. Juan Diego Moreno. It's a good name. He's making gains, bro. Flexing on him. Anyway, when you have a Ford Taurus wagon, but you want a truck, well, what you do is you turn it into a Ford Taurus wagon truck thing. Like that. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, Dominic Urbane here spotted the ever elusive Miata shark with colorful fenders. Not sure why, but I guess it's kind of cool. It's got like teeth in the front and stuff. It looks like a shark. Kind of looks like a sand shark to me. Uh, FLT fan Sha Jen sent in this picture of a hearse being towed. But wait a second. Enhance. Look to the left there. The pallbearers are carrying out the casket to put in the hearse, and the hearse is on the tow truck. Fail. That's a fail. That's a death Ooh. fail. Yeah. Ugh, sorry for that guy. Uh, ever want to get rid of those pesky Priuses? Or I believe the plural is Prii. Prii. Prii? Yeah. Prii. Yeah. Well, just use this easy to use Prius repellent. There you go. Get on the gas and roll coal. It's pretty funny. Thanks to Sam Olenek for that one. Uh, FLD fan Kevin PC Mulligan right here. He's a fan of Garth from Wayne's World. Who isn't? Right? It's a great movie. Um, he saw this VW Nissan Frontier. Now, why even put the VW badge on there? What purpose is it serving? Like, why? The, your, the Nissan badge is still right above it. And there's a VW. What, what is the, what's the point? I don't get it. It just makes no sense. That's why you're on Friends Day Wednesday, because it's dumb. Next is uh, Jorge Vasquez. Why so serious, Jorge? He snapped this picture of what is clearly a pristine Ferrari. Dented, chipped wheel paint and all. It's a Toyota Tercel. Why you want to put a Ferrari badge on it, I don't know. Maybe it's called a Ferrota? Maybe a Terrari? Yeah. Something like that. Now, actually, this next faux Ferrari is done pretty well, though. To the untrained eye, you could pawn this Scion FRS off as a Ferrari. Like, I think if I asked my mom, like, real quick, Mom, what is that car? She would see the badge. I'm like, oh, that's a Ferrari. But it's not. It's an FRS. Uh, it's kind of done tastefully, though, right? I mean, I wouldn't drive it like that. But I guess you could call it a Ferrari. Ferrari. That works. So maybe that's what he's going for. He drives the only Ferrari. That's right. Thanks to FD fan Brandon Chan Moon for that one. Brandon Chan Moon. Nice. Lastly, Ryan Hughes here. I guess he got laid. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lay on. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Anyway, he sent this picture in. Check out the used car dealership name on the back of this car. Enhance. Crap holes. Yeah, come on down to crap holes and get yourself a used car. 100% guaranteed, no bullshit. 
or our name isn't crap hole. Now it's a PH, it may be craffle, but come on, I'm going crap hole all day with that name of that used car dealership. And uh, oh, happy 18th birthday to FD fan Seth Dolganoff, uh, here with his pops. His dad just bought a brand new shiny red Corvette Stingray. Happy 18th birthday to you. Also, happy birthday to Joshua Kreps. Both of their birthdays are tomorrow on Thanksgiving. We're not here, so happy birthday now. Friends Day Wednesday. Friendsgiving. <laughs> all right. Since it being Thanksgiving and all, yes. um, our FLD question of the day is, what is the one car you are the most thankful for? You got one, AK? Your Subaru? Yeah, yeah, I could say that. I don't I, I'm, I'm thankful for my friends here at FLD and for our viewers. Ah, oh, that's a good one, AK. It's not really the right, right answer for the question. It's a, we get it. It works. Thankful. Subaru Double Yeah, I'm most thankful for the Subaru Double Yeah. See, I'm just going more general. Uh, I'm just thankful for the pickup truck. Just in general, because how else would I be able to throw some hammers back there? You couldn't. I couldn't without a pickup truck. Right. Unless you had like an El Camino or something. Yeah. Does that, is that? But yeah, yeah you could. I mean. You could. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send a Ronin to. Tipsyfastlingdeli.com. That's right, AK. I thank you for it. I thank you for remembering that email. That's what I'm thankful for, because I forget it every time. You know what I mean? It's true. Psh. Totes true. And that's it for Fast Lane Daily today and this week, Thanksgiving week. I'm Derek D. For everyone here in the U.S. celebrating Thanksgiving, have a happy and healthy holiday from all of us here at Fast Lane Daily. Really stop and think, what are you thankful for? You know, you're probably a lot better off than a lot of people out there. So please stay safe, don't drink and drive, eat good food, and don't be a jerk. And to everyone else in the world, same goes for you. Talk to you guys later. Next week. Now for the Thanksgiving FLD race. Orange tape versus blue tape. First to hit my hand wins. And they're off. All right, first to hit my arm shall win the FLD Thanksgiving tape derby. Go. Oh, win, blue came out strong on that one. And it had a, it had. Has defects. Has defects. So there you have it, blue wins. Cause if he was green, he would die. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.